Hello fellow surfers, we're back to season two. I know I've been away a little bit, but um, I've been working on my religious um, based YouTube channel, which has nearly got 800 subscribers, Stand on Scripture, as well as my gaming channel. So I just want to um, get right to this. As you can see, there's some frothy milk on the top with a little bit of sprinkled um, sugar on this one. Um, in this one, obviously, there's the throth heading to the coffee, um, not milk in the coffee. I've not put the milk in the coffee, but the frothing, the frothing of the milk in that one. And for um, honesty, there's the thumbnail. Um, for this, this one's got no sugar or any anything, just simply the coffee. This one's got two sugars in and the frothy milk at the top with a little sprinkled sugar on the top that's how i generally have my coffees um now i'm not gonna have that one yet i'm gonna let that um just sit but i'm going to have this one and i believe the price was somewhere around like five pound uh four, four pound fifty if i'm not mistaken so just give me um a little check so yeah um in weight rows, it's uh, £4.75. In um, in Sainsbury's, it's £4.30. I think I got mine for £4.50 in Asda's, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I'm going to tell you my honest opinion, what I get from the um, coffee. I'm not going to just say like, search it up in relation to and go, yes, this is what it is. However, I will be talking about what people um, have said about this um, as well. So... Just sticking to the normal coffee. There's a smokiness to it. So, there's a smokiness to it. And almost, I can kind of get an almost like dark chocolate but it's very light. It's like more of a watery, dark chocolate kind of um, like flavour on the back of the tongue. The bit honest that you get kind of from the dark chocolate. Cocoa, cocoa no, um, notes to it. Light spices, but you can't really pick it up. It's more the um, coffee kind of, your generic kind of coffee um, flavor. A smokiness with that kind of um, dark chocolate kind of bursting forward as flavors that you get. The spices aren't necessarily, you know, it's a, they're not necessarily jumping out at the moment. It's got like a nice um, full body kind of richness to it, um, a rich flavour to it. Um, I would like it to be a little bit more darker, a little bit more smoky to it, but um, very light kind of citrusy note to it i'll probably say it's close to a lemony um citrus some coffees that you get you get like a kind of um a grape juice kind of um bitterness it kind of sits right in the back for a while this is more lighter um in relation to the citrus that i'm getting from this but there's again the more dark chocolate kind of Flavor. It's almost kind of like if you were to liquidize chocolate and then get rid of like the stickiness but just have it in water. Do you know what I mean? Like just a water version of it. Um, and it's nice, uh, even by itself, because I'm not necessarily one for drinking coffee without sugar in it. 
um, or some kind of sweetener in it, be it um, like honey or sugar, brown sugar. Um, I don't generally put sweeteners, sweeteners in coffees or teas or anything, but like sugar or um, honey, I, this is nice by itself. There's a low it's um acidity to it. It's just nice it's a nice drink. It's it's smooth as well. I'm not getting too much of an attack like overwhelming um by itself. Now this is how I like my coffee. Um and to be fair, I've had this um obviously many times that my current favorite style of um coffee make is tls of harrogate which the green screen will probably oh the green screen hasn't picked up but here it is i was going to do this i was going to do this channel without the background and stuff but hey nah, i'll just stick to what i'm used to but as you can see here um it's as you can see on the um on the image here tls of harrogate um, these are like my favorite coffee brand so far and I'm kind of venturing out into very um, variations of coffee makes um, so that's um, it just it's just perfect with this kind of mix with the a froth get a milk frothing um, machine it'll make milk it up wait until it settles a bit so it's just the kind of frothiness so it sits on the top um, you don't want it to be more kind of liquidy with a little bit of froth to it because it'll make the um, the coffee in itself like more milky. You just want it to have a light milk uh, milk kind of flavor to it. You can also use cream, but for me personally, um, yeah, a little bit of froth on the top, two sugars, and a sprinkling of sugar on top, and a I can see this right off the top of my head. This is pretty much um, the best coffee I've had, but there's, there might be coffees out there that I haven't tried that are by far better than this. So I would like your views and opinions in the comments. What you think is there better coffees? What should I test? Um, now, in relation to what people say, some people claim that this is a rich, a bold coffee, which I myself would agree to. Um, some people say that they can taste the like, chocolate um, kind of flavor. Other people will probably say it's too watery because it's a coffee. It's kind of there, but it's not bursting out. A lot of people probably would overlook that. Um, and again, some people actually gather the, um, the spices that you get from um, some coffees. Now I can drink in this and it might just be the sugar in there with the bit of the milk, but it seems to kind of draw a little bit of kind of cinnamon kind of taste to it. And I'm not saying it's definitely like cinnamon, I'm just saying it kind of draws some kind of like spice when it's got like some sugar in. Maybe it's that's drawing it out. Um but yeah. Um it's not like predominant in relation to a lot of citrus or fruity kind of flavor, but it is there. Um, it's kind of an even coffee, but the smokiness is what I like in the coffee. Something that's rich, something that's um, like smoky in its um, stance. So overall, because it is currently my favorite coffee, I'm going to try and not be too biased towards it. There's coffees out there that are probably better than this. But for me at the moment, this is my favorite coffee. Um, some of the coffees that I've tried so far aren't really up to scratch for this, but I still like them. So I'm trying to be fair with my rating in relation to this type of coffee against the you know the instant one you just pour in you know the can cool or anything there um 
and I'd probably say this was a, a, it's a good eight, a high eight, like maybe it's an eight point six. And generally, we round up when we get to the eight point five and such. So I'm going to leave it at. Um, I'm going to say it's a a high eight, so it's a nine. Yeah. This, if it could be a little bit more smoky, a little bit more rich. The spices kind of being able to be pinpointed. This would be much um, better as a coffee. Um, so eight point um, eight point six, but we'll round up. It's a nine overall. Um, we don't like having the points and stuff and eight point eight point this because it just makes um, it a lot more difficult. Um, they oh people play eight point six. Why not just eight point five? They why not just go with it? And you'll get a lot of this. So it's better to just round it up or round it down. So if it's eight point five, round it down. For me personally, to just eight. If it's eight point six upwards, I just say it's a nine. And yeah, um, so tears of Harrogate. Um, yeah, eight point eight point six, but. We round up to the nine. Beautiful richness. Um, I can taste like a light lemon to it. Well worth the price for getting. Um, generally, um, it calms me down every time I have it. Um, I would advise, however, um, if you drink a lot of it, you get like that kind of furry kind of um, feel to the tongue because it has that kind of bitterness to it. But if you're not drinking it like one after another and you're having it at points through the day, it probably wouldn't be um, an issue for you. Um, maybe it's like a couple of, like say four times a day or something. I don't think it would be that big of an issue, but if you're a heavy drinker, you're probably used to that kind of um, furriness feel at the back anyway. So it, I guess it, if you're not used to it and you're not a big coffee drinker, you might want to just have one a day um, at best um, or one every couple of days. And it'll last you a long time. Um, but I'm a relatively strong a coffee drinker, herbal tea drinker. So I'm used to having these a lot. But even if you have it too much over uh, like the day, it can even kind of get on my nose where I've got to wash my mouth out with water just to get rid of the tears sometimes um, if you have too much of it. So that is my opinion. It is a 9 out of 10. Um, again, this could change over the, um, the future. Like There might be just some great names in coffee that just blow this out of water. Then I'm going to have to think maybe it's down the line, look back at this after looking at a, a range of different coffees and go, actually, this is more like a six or seven um, compared to these um, so uh, Taylor's of Harrogate um, Java Lava hot Java Lava coffee 9 out of 10 beautiful taste nice all-round coffee for you to get rich broad smoky and little bits of a uh, kind of lemon um, zest to it with a little bit of bit and it's not overpowering but it's nice and rich that's what I think anyway so if you enjoyed this video why not hit the like subscribe um, share hit the notification bells and all of that stuff you know and um, also just to finalize why not check out my gaming channel um, gamer rink or even check out my religious channel, Stand on Scripture, if you want to, if that's either or one of those, or maybe it's your thing, go check that out, or you can check out the other game, I think. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to enjoy my drink, and I'm going to do the outro. You know what to do. Check the links in the description. I'll see you in the next one.